Welcome back with the summer 2015 coming to a close. Jamaican artists are beginning to return home from tour overseas. One such is our own friend, Richie Tickler Stevens. <laughs> right now, right here on our stage, who appears to have had a fantastic tour of Europe and elsewhere. I'm not to talk where else yet. Tickler. Yes, my boss. Yeah, I'm going to tell everybody you know, why you're here to climb. <laughs> but you well, can't. Well, you can't. Well, <laughs> it's a family show. Well, <laughs> <laughs> Let me just start by saying, it's, it's, it, I feel like it's a great blessing from the Almighty. You Your know? first time in Brazil. My first time in Brazil, and um, it was a great time in Brazil. One of the things I learned quickly when I went there is that it's not a place that are into the regular run of what's you know, in reggae. They are more into the 70s type of reggae. That's what they really love, the old time style. So you have people like, like Gregory Isaac still run the place. You have um, Eric Donaldson and Jimmy Cliff. And so them, them just embrace the 70s. Them embrace the 70s. They're not busy with nothing else. They feel it's still the best brand of reggae music. Okay. And they hang on to it. Um, the reason why I went there is that there's a song I have out for about three years on the Real Reggae Music album. And the song was done on a old rhythm, Love of a Woman, Andy, um, Harris Andy, that was produced by Striker Lee. Mm -hmm. So we did the song on that same rhythm, the old 60s cut. And that is the reason why the song was successful in, in, in Brazil. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it's not so much you then? <laughs> no, I don't know. I don't know. I don't you then, you know. I don't mean, I do all rhythm. rhythm. <laughs> But anyway, so you have a number one song now, don't you? Yes, know it went number one in San Luis on a very um, recognized chart. And um, God bless social media. I was on Facebook one day and somebody said to me, Richie, you know that we love Knock Knock Knock. The song is called Knock Knock Knock. Mm -hmm. And I say, big up. And him say, um, by the way, I'm a radio DJ, blah, 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 blah. Till one day him said to me, oh, the song is number one. So I say, yeah. <laughs> so I said, send me the chart. Him send me the chart. Then him start sending me some um, clips from the different dances and parties. And I said, but hold on, this thing Showing serious. how people are reacting yeah. to it. Yes. And then he told me that there's a promoter that's interested in bringing it to Brazil. I said, okay, well, tell him so and so and so. And the man got back to me. The rest and said, is history. Yes. And said, boy, are we we're interested, blah, blah, blah. And then the trip set. Then I went to Brazil. It was a different thing again. Mm, bigger than you thought. Yes, yes. It, everybody was singing the song. Cause the first thing I did when I went there is start checking out the parties. And, you know, hanging out to the locals and check out what's going on. And it was just magical bridging. And as I said when I started out, it, it's, it's like a blessing. Because to get this kind of love from such a place. By the way, I love Brazil. And all Jamaicans love Brazil because of football. Yeah. So to be there and to be there because of music and to, to be embraced like this in Brazil was, was amazing. What was amazing again, he <clears throat> never imagined that we'd get this kind of turnout. The first show was about 4,000 people. Remember, it was me alone on the show. And then because it, it, it was well done, according to them, everybody hear about it. And the second city was close by, so everybody just come pack up in at the show. <laughs> you understand? So it's over 7,000 people. So it was, was great, man. And it not finished the same for because when you're in a place, getting so much love, giving so much love, then a love affair start. Mm -hmm. So I wrote a song called I Love You Brazil. And um, we put in final touches on it because I, I don't intend to, to leave out of Brazil in terms of music, you know, I will mm -hmm. stay. So I wrote a song that many down there who heard it so far said, boy, this should be an anthem. So I'm just hoping. All right, all right. So let's give them a little quick piece of, um, no, no, no. I heard no, 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 on the door. You hurry up before I kick it in. I know that there's somebody in there with you. I need to confront them. Knock, knock, knocking on the door. And I said, Who is that? I'm not in the mood to stay in chat. Show me a window through the back. Girl, you caught me in a trap. And I don't need no confrontation. So that's the number one song in Brazil for Richie Stevens. So, so, so talk about Europe. You went to Europe as well. Right yes. after that, you went to Right after Europe. that, um, First of all, no, this tour started in Bahamas. Mm -hmm. After Bahamas, then Brazil. Brazil, then Italy. Mm -hmm. Italy to Germany. We are linked up with gentlemen and them. And boy, it was a smash. Because mm -hmm. by now, you know, you realize that we have several songs together. Mm -hmm. And we also have a 
way that we perform on stage, interacting with the crowd and so. So it was just amazing. Skiatek, Skiatek mm. is another eye opener for me because out of Skiatek, I'm now doing a remix with a very popular group in Italy. And the remix, when I was there at the studio with them, I was so impressed by how they are interpreting Ska. So we decided to start up a thing. So look out for Richie Stevens and the Ska Nation. It's a band that we'll start. It's a different project from Richie Stevens that you know. We'll be doing Ska, um, touring all over the world with Ska music. So that's a project by itself. That's coming. All yes. right, so we'll wait to see what, how that um, turns out. Mm -hmm. um, you went on some big platforms this time um, with some big shows that major, no, major normally shows. see reggae artists. Mm. Can you name, name a few for us? And credit, full credit to Gentleman because Gentleman is such a well-organized artist with talent, with the right team, with all these things that really make him unstoppable. And because of that, he is now performing on some major, major festivals, you know, rock festivals and so. And I get a chance to perform with him and by myself, because I do a, a performance by myself and then we do some songs together. So I truly get to express myself with what I'm doing, like for argument, the Skatec mm -hmm. just went over very, very well based on its energy and the dancing that we put to it. I just want to give thanks to the father, Winford, for all of this, because I've been in the game long enough and I realized long ago that I'm not gonna worry, and there's no need to worry about what you think not coming, because if you stay around long enough in the game, you just might get what you truly deserve. So with this work and dedication that I've been putting in over the years, a lot of people feel like I should be on the, the helm of the thing up there with anybody else and I do this. And I look at it from a spiritual perspective and say, if God did want it to go like that, it would have been. But some people get them pay now, some people get it tomorrow, and some people get it the next day. So I just want to say I feel the blessing coming from the Almighty. You understand? And we need to know here, so we need to know rush. Because one good thing about being a veteran, with all of the work that you put in over the years, when the payday comes, it will leap. You understand? <laughs> Richard Stevens, thank you so much. Yes. Welcome home for a minute, because you're gone again. You go, you'll yes. be gone for another month, right? Well, actually, I'm not supposed to be here, but I'm just here to deal with some personal business. I have another six weeks to finish on the road. Oh, wow. Yeah, man, so. All right, sir. So the yes, is really here now. No, well, some good things are going on. Again, we give thanks. We give right. thanks to Jamaica people for the tremendous support over the years as well. So big up everyone. See? All right, there you have him right here on stage. Thanks for the report, Richard Steven. Stay with us. Still to come right here on stage. If I get the girl, eh, you call in your new girl. Where in the world is the angel? At a time when so many women are surging in local dance hall. She was particularly missing at Reggae Sumpers. And Bling Dog appears to be building one of the most incredible comeback stories in the history of dance hall. Hi, thanks for watching our video. Hope you have enjoyed it. Please subscribe to our channel by clicking right here and enjoy so much more where that came from. People feel like I should be on the, the helm of the thing up there with anybody else and I do this. And I look at it from a spiritual perspective and say, if God did want it,